Hey, Keeper, um, I got a question for you. Yeah, what's up, dude? I'm seeing the chat room going crazy. Yeah. Okay. They're going back and forth. It's I a rumble that. in the jungle. I see it. We got I Muhammad see it. Ali. He's against the I see ropes. It. He's dancing. I see it. He's a- I see it. Is I know, XRP I know what you're about to ask. decentralized? <laughs> I want to know, Keeper. I, just just uh, let me know. Is okay. is XRP decentralized? I want to okay. know. So, so my uh, initial answer is unfortunately no. I I, oh! I, I, I I don't think that it is. Now, Why is that? There's some really good arguments to be made on both sides of this, but the reason that I would say, and I, and, and let me say this, and I I, I know uh, Forrest and Blood, I want to hear from you guys on this too. Yeah, this decentralization. Is decentralization is a beautiful thing. It's something that we we look for in the crypto space because part of being you know crypto centric is the idea that the power goes back to the people, and we are not you know, allowing essentially these these centralized entities to make decisions for what ultimately, you know, the protocols that we're getting involved in. Okay, cool. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. Part of the problem with decentralization is there's not an incentive on some of these for people to do the work. And so a lot of times it can be hard to get a, you know, a, 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 a um, what, like a smooth outcome, right? Think about it. If you if it's truly decentralized and it's just just freaking everywhere, it's got to have some sort of a protocol such as let's like let's use Bitcoin as an example. The way that Bitcoin is mined incentivizes that. However, you still have the drawback of he who holds the money in the miners is going to have some sort of, you know, be able to do that. But I don't think you can ever get away from it. What I'm saying with XRP in, in, in particular is that uh, they hold. 50 billion i think in escrow right that's mm-hmm. just that's that's just a fact they hold they hold that um mm-hmm. and so and they are a, a centralized entity that is dealing with the banks has partnerships with a bunch of different banks and that is trying to involve themselves ripple as a business with the banks part of the argument that you will see about xrp is that uh, and actually some somebody saying right here ultimate finish is saying the 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 uh where where is it oh sh- hold on a second ripple owns uh, a large amount of tokens yeah yeah how yeah is that? How, how how is so how is that decentralized that that's exactly what's being said there but the other part of it is the ledger the XRP ledger I don't understand enough to give you a, an educated answer maybe maybe Forrest maybe maybe you know but the other side of the argument is that the ledger itself is decentralized that's not coming from just the the central entity that is ripple so that's the argument on the other side that the ledger Mm -hmm. is settled via a decentralized you know uh application so to speak do you know anything on uh on xrp for us do you know anything on that uh no i just know that the reason i don't hold any xrp is because they hold 50 billion tokens and that same circulating supply argument it's like if there's a ton of you know, potential to be dumped on. Um, I just, I just don't want to put myself in that situation. Like uh, they have control over when those tick tokens are, are sold. Uh, and yeah, I just prefer not to, I, I just think there's better opportunities. Um, and there's, yeah. there's risk. There. And th- this is interesting. Like, I don't, I've never really analyzed it, uh, more, uh, like I said, my, my disposition is more so, uh, uh, uh ethical, moral, if you want to say, uh, perspective as far as what ripple is attempting to do work mm-hmm. with the banks 